Okay, uh, <clears throat> hop on here and talk a little bit about hats. What I like about hats. Uh, so, Gorin. Uh, Gorin's a hat shop. I think they're one of the more famous ones. I don't know, because I feel like once you click on something, they start to sponsor. They, they're the sponsored ads. And you're following them, and then they're sending you ads on pretty much all your social platforms. So it all feels like they're all encompassing. But they do seem like they are like the top dog in selling hats. Uh, lots of different brands, but um, you know, and it's a good thing. Um, one of the positive, I heard some, somebody say sandwich the, the bad with the good. One of the positive, the positive things is they have hat shops in and they encourage people to come in, try on their hats, get some education on them. Um, and I feel like they're the gateway hat, the gateway drug. And this was the first one that I saw. I saw the inside of this in a picture laying down and I was like, yeah, that's what I need. Um, I like it. I've always worn, if I wanted a fancy hat, um, of course, ball caps are kind of like non-fancy hats. They're the ones that everyone pretty much wears. The one thing about this, and I really have never worn it all that much because it looks like a starter cap. You'd never know from the pictures. There was no description on it, but if you notice this part of the cap, I mean, everything kind of slopes up, but the front of the cap goes way up first. It's got, as you would say, maybe a high crown. Um, so it always just had a strange look about it. It's got the selvage denim look. I must have bought this like six years ago. No patches, just a simple button off to the side, which was always like, hey, when we were younger, this is where they were. This was like the cooler placement after a while. Uh, 20 years ago. Still, still the cool one though. Um, they always put these buttons. You can see their button there, their button here. So you'd see like a circle button. You'd be like, oh yeah, that's a Gordon from across the room. Um, Stetson does use circles as well. So kind of, uh, so which one could it be? Uh, but what I like about these, this is kind of my personality, is it's very nondescript, but on the inside, it's like, I'm very plain, and uh, but when you get to know me, you're gonna find out uh, way more than you could ever just see from the outside. And that was the same thing going about these hats. The inside of this hat is just wild. So um, it's shiny, it's got that satin look to it, swirls. This is actually from an artist who does graffiti. Also like that, this is embroidered OX or XO. Yes, OX, depending on which way you look. Um, every time. I feel like every time I talk to make these videos. Alexa, turn off. I don't know. You can check my video. I don't think I said Alexa. So I like the inside of this. It's just unbelievable. The inside of this looks like a fancy fedora. Um, and this was by Gordon. So here, I'll show it on my head. I just think it's got a strange look. I like it. It's fitted. No straps. It's hard to get a fitted hat for me. If I do a snapback, I'm literally on the last two nubs or knobs because I have such a large head. Um, but when you go online, you can order these hats even bigger than this. I've got hats that don't even fit me because they're too large. So I like that. Um, and then I went to probably my next, my first uh, fedora was from Henry the Hatter. They're uh, in Detroit. Look at that, since 1893. That is a long time ago. This is one of Detroit's first shops of any kind. And they are the oldest hat shop, I believe, in the country. Uh, you can check my facts on that. But it comes in a hat box. Hat box looks like this, probably accommodating for all kinds of uh, hats. It is, the weight of the hat is sitting right along the uh, crown. So the roundness of the brim is not affected. It's actually no points of contact. Um, you couldn't have a better, I mean, these are really cheap, but you couldn't have a, a better way to store your hat, aside from maybe a hat rack, because you can see it. But this one keeps the dust and the lint off, as well as keeps the shape and um, doesn't bend anything out of order. But, oh, it got dusty somewhere. Um, I think I paid maybe anywhere between 60, 65, 70, I bet. I was looking for uh, something that would fit my head. Simple pinch 
um, pinch because I always just like the fact that it's a little bit narrower, a little bit more streamlined. It reminds me of a sports car, um, traditional center crown. It's even got a black lining, which I just find pretty classy. So navy blue, black, um, band is also blue, but a contrasting, a, a different blue, different sheens. Um, has a good fit. I feel like it's just the right fit, not too big, not too small. Um, and it's got one of the smaller brims, which is, if you're getting into hats like this, smaller brim might be the way you wanna go. Kind of uh, ease you in. But when I wanted to up my hat, I wanted to try something from Gorin. This was like the hat that was all on Instagram. This one's called Dean the Butcher. Um, the one I really liked was in a brown, but this one was on one of their hat sales. They actually, today is Wednesday, the Wednesday before Black Friday. They are actually running a 30% off sale off select varieties. So of all the different types of hats they have, they will mark some down. And then the thing about this, so you might see Dean the Butcher on there and they'll only have a small. So it, like, it makes you angry that you go there expecting like high hopes and then you get kind of dashed. Um, but this one is just more hat. Actually, if you can see, more hat, more brim. Um, not much more, but um, enough to be more. Uh, but one thing I don't like about this Goring, so that one was maybe, let's say like 70 at the most. Um, this one's 150. So if that was 75, this one is two times the price of hat. Um, wool, they're both, I believe, some sort of a wool. Um, there is a, uh, there is a brand that's like uh, upgraded wool. There's different varieties of wool. Um, I mean, it feels very good. They actually call this one a crushable, even though I've never attempted to crush it. Uh, I just find that to be kind of, uh, um, but inside there's no liner. So the thing that got me into Gorin was the beautiful inside. I just liked old hats when they'd have like this bright red inline uh, liner, bright red. It was almost like it was just like, you know, red is color of love, it's color of passion, fire, blood. Um, it just had like this warmth to it. And that's the part that's making contact with your head. It's almost like you're just nestling your head into this quality where this one is missing out on the liner. Also the band for crushable, this is what you want. It's a, um, almost like the same material, like a cotton, um, band, which is really durable. Um, but when you, uh, when you start looking at other brands, like the one I have right here, um, you know, you're like, hey, I kind of, I really want that for this. Um, one thing that stinks is I've looked, you cannot just buy these. There's nowhere that you can just go on and buy that. And another thing, you can't just buy hat stands either. Made this one, by the way. Um, so I am getting a Stetson soon. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna do an unboxing. And the thing I like about Stetson is it's gonna be very close to this, um, but different. It'll have a teardrop, which I don't have a bigger one like this with a teardrop. Um, it'll, it moves up in the same kind of steps in the size, uh, but it's gonna have a leather band, which even that one down there doesn't, and it'll have a liner inside. Uh, also, it won't be wool. Wool is um, one of the cheaper materials. It's going to be a blend of fur. Um, exactly not sure which type of fur, but um, I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah. Uh, oh, so I went online. This was Dean the Butcher. This one was kind of like, they'd like take a picture of you and your Goran, put it on social media. Um, everyone was wearing the Dean the Butcher. Dean the Butcher, this was kind of like their, this was like their, their go-to hat. This was the hat. Um, now they have a hundred, I counted them. I was getting like 70, 71, 80, 81. They have 116 hats under the category of fedora. I don't know if they're exactly all fedoras. I saw some um, bowler hats as I was going through, but 116 hats, um, styles, and then you've got the colors. So this one had like seven colors. Um, they even made a elevated version of this where it's got like different shades of color. Um, but 116, that's a lot to narrow down on your choices. Um, good for an individual, not so good if you kind of want to fit into a brand. 
um, you know, you wear like Levi jeans because it's got a certain look, some, something that just has a certain look. Um, like wearing a fedora gives you a certain look. There's just so many. I guess like flat brims are now the thing that go out. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the curved brim, so I don't, I'm not going to switch to a um, flat brim probably anytime. I'm kind of getting to where I've got enough hats now. Um, my new one is going to be in gray. So I've got dark blue, dark green, I've got brown. Those are all the kind of darker ones and then gray. So um, I'll show you how that one goes. Um, yeah, so Goran, they're really uh, top of their game, but I don't know. Would you call that top? I wouldn't. Um, it should have a liner in there. Oh, another thing. Goran does not come in a hat box to store your hat. That's an extra charge. Somebody on the internet was like, hey, why don't you guys give away hat boxes? And they're like, oh, we would, but they would cost you more money. You'd have to pay for them in, in price. And they're pretty much saying, hey, why aren't you giving away uh, hat boxes with your purchase? This one I got from Detroit came with the hat. They steamed it, cleaned it, put it in a hat box for me so I could take it home, store it in my closet, store it under my bed. Um, this one, you don't have really have a way to store it. Um, you might not know how to store it correctly. It might, it might get damaged. Um, and I made the comment on their Facebook that, um, they're like, we'd have to charge you. We'd have to charge you. Their, char their hats are some, their hat boxes are something like $15. And, um, I'm sure it would cost more for them to even ship you. Uh, and I was like, really though, you you can you can give away a, a box with a with a hundred and fifty dollar hat. I mean, I can go into a donut shop, buy twelve donuts, and they're gonna give me a box. So it's not like a box is gonna cost you anything. I can get a free box with my donut. I should be able to get a free box with a hundred and fifty dollar hat. That's my uh, my other gripe. All right, guys, take care. Hopefully, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, share, like comment please comment i'd like to hear from you it's uh almost black friday there are deals jj hat center is where i'm getting my hat 25 percent off oh yeah